Welcome back everyone to Let's Play War on the Sea, the U.S. Campaign, episode number 45. I did some scouting off camera because we are getting towards the end of the day. We know that the episode, the entire episode may be just lost to trying to get the Thresher <laughs> into, into a good position to attack. You know, some kind of battleships. Which ones are they? We're in a pretty good position as is, right? I just want to make sure that we're ahead of them, which we are. So we're probably still going to start with that, but... Um, one sec. Um, I, I just want to save the game after doing all that scouting just in case something happens. I don't have to load back in and do all that scouting again. I, I completely failed in so many different ways. There's so many different aircraft, which, like one of these, the B-17s from New Hebrides. Uh, I took all eight in a group instead of just taking one. And that, that's just the default, right? You have to sit there and click seven times to get it down to zero. Yeah, there's still a lot of gooey, gooey work to be done here, but I mean, the game is making improvements, so hopefully it'll get there. I don't, I wonder if this game went through, so like, applause, you know, full tip of the hat to the developer for sticking with the game after it's released. Really been doing some good work with the, but how did this make it into, what, didn't this game get any kind of, did anybody play test this before it was released? And, and if they did this, was it just a situation where they were running out of money and they didn't have time to fix the GUI issues? I don't know. Okay, anyway, uh, let's let's just jump into the fun. And by fun, I mean... Mr. Thresher, we're going to the tactical level. So, this will be crazy. I have no idea what's going to happen. That's not what I wanted to see. That's not what I wanted to see at all. So there are two destroyers. Oh my god, they're all over the place. But somewhere else... I guess we can use our... our periscope just like a real submarine would. Let's see if we can find the other ships, which should be out there somewhere. I would come to the surface to let them bomb and, you know, then move on, but the problem is if that was to happen, I think the destroyers would get me, ruining the Thresher's wonderful little tail they have here. I'm pretty sure that we won't be able to, well, we can see those, definitely. Might as well do a rear target attack on one of the, ah, uh, no, they're moving away. The question is, where are the other ones? Those are the ones that I want. And I think that they're moving... Again, for the last time, Tortuga, you gotta clean this monitor. I'm just never gonna remember to do it. What are we at? We're just past south. Just have a feeling we probably could see them if I was patient enough. I don't recommend doing things this way. This is like probably how you go blind. Besides sitting too close to the TV, as my mom said. Which I don't think is actually true. Well, I don't know. I don't know where these guys are. So, um, I mean, we have some options here. We could take a shot at one of these guys. I don't think we would actually even hit them. At least we can identify. At least we can identify them, though. So many air contacts. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's scroll back around to them. Just leave our binoculars here. Let our crew identify these ships, because I I don't want to do it. Okay, we got the Momi, and we got what do we got? Well, number one, which we're still trying to identify, apparently. Why did that do that? I don't know. I wanted to go back to periscope depth just because I saw 30. And that's not 33. It would not be a particular, particularly good time to be surfacing. Alright, let's just focus in on this thing again. 
I really can't identify it. Okay, look at all identify myself. Dang it. Oh, alright, what do we have? So that is the mummy. And this is. Hmm. <laughs> Fubuki? Okay. Is this what you are? I think this is a shira, Shiratsuyu. Well, now we don't even know what it is because it's gone, but... Could I detect it? Would I detect it? I mean... Alright, now we can actually go to the surface at this point. I don't know if the aircraft will come back. I mean, look, we're just having fun anyway. We know that the moment this happens, we're gonna lose... I don't know, should I do it this way? We'll go up to 10 feet, which will mean basically being able to... I mean, what are these gonna do? Okay, so we do have visibility. Are they turning towards? <laughs> it looks like it. And line up a uh, almost a shot like that. Looks like she did see us. Periscope depth, right? Get those rear tubes ready. But the aircraft did not turn back. That's kind of interesting to me. So right behind uh, them is us. If there were any other ships in the location, it would be good to know about. Before these guys wander off the screen. And I'm still very happy to see these guys go. If I'm not mistaken, they had a 20mm cannon in the tail. But they only had like uh, pea shooters, some machine guns and the rest of the spots, which weren't able to do too much to the American aircraft. Anyway, I think we did piss off this, well, not piss off, but just alert alert the, um, them to our presence. Go up to nine knots. This might be the direction that we're supposed to find the battleships too, and we still want those battleships. Man, they, I, on the strategic map, it looked like they were very close to us. So, how do we do this? If we can actually set a perfectly even course, then, <laughs> yeah, then we can uh, launch a torpedo with the pretty much guaranteed chance of success. That looks pretty good. Let's go to binoculars. Can you see that guy now? Cannot to target this. <laughs> we we see it in every way, but we cannot target it because it's not detected. Okay, we have it now. And apparently the moment did not come with her, which is this is really bizarre. Anyway, I don't really want to wait. Um, what's her range to? I think the best thing for us to do is just fire this torpedo uh, directly at her. Let me get the. So just one torpedo or two? No, I think actually it has to be one because we want it to be one or three because we need one on a zero spread. Well, you could just fire two at a zero spread. And our solution is why is it nothing? Oh, we're targeting the wrong one. Okay, we can fix that. Firing rear torpedoes. If we were to fire, it would be... I mean, this, to me, looks like it would be a hit. Okay, so let me put my finger... here. And that's where it was. We could get lucky, but maybe not. Just fire one, and then when we try this again, we'll fire another. 
I mean, the next one we'll fire, we won't be doing manually. So we'll do one normal. Little, be nice to see the little weight go out, little torpedo on the way. So that's one, and how far are they away from us? Yeah, they're closing. And let's fire one more. As soon as we get to 99, we're at 99. One more torpedo. Okay, that was another fire. Now, we can't do anything. We just have to sit and wait for our torpedoes to do their thing. Because... Wait, what, 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 what? What did we do? Did I click too many times? Nope, two torpedoes. Oh, wow. It just looks weird. Now we sit and wait and see what happens. These torpedoes have a long way to go. I doubt, I kind of like seriously doubt that the Manu the manual fire one is going to hit. We just need to get one. <laughs> I mean, I guess, hey, we could get lucky and get both, but... Yeah. Now, I think I can use a trick to, like, turn and steer them in the direction I want them to go. So if this one is going to miss to the left, I can steer to the left and he'll actually track my motion. Although, honestly, it looks like it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm having a hard time seeing it. If it's possible this is going to hit or not, but it, look, it might actually need to steer him to the right. I mean, gosh darn it, if that doesn't look pretty good. And that's my manual fire one. We'll steer to the right a little bit, even. Okay, let's see how this... <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, we really need to go to the right for this next one. It's going to miss even worse. We had the right idea, though. That was so close, man. If this were magnetic detonation, that would have gone off. What do I look like? I'm going off in this direction. Okay, well, fair enough. Um, we've already loaded one of our rears. What I'd really like to do is find the other convoy still. Anyway, their course is um, 321, so let's set something like 321. It doesn't tell me what I am, but I can just come back here. <laughs> let's just try it again. Okay, they're 321. Left. Okay, this is good. Let's try this again. We're closer now, so it should work better, right? <laughs> Just keep it on. And the manual launch was better. So I have to say, I'm going to go with the manual launch. Okay, so let's do it this way. That is right on him. And then I will just box it right here. Fire. Try one more. Why not? Let's see if we get lucky. It's down and I mean we're definitely close enough to fire non-manually. But I do think the firing manually is a little bit better. And why am I lead, trying to lead him? I because there might be a slight angle when these torpedoes are launched. So they might be slowly drifting over to here. And if you don't lead, you'll be slowly drifting to somewhere behind them. I'm trying to actually predict what they'll be in. I mean, I'm just wildly eyeballing it, but. We are 321 and they are 321. So this is the torpedo. I don't know why it's at such a weird angle. And it looks pretty off to me. Hmm. I might not, I might not have guided that one quite right. I mean, hey, we're only missing by like 30 yards from like. 5,000 yards, so this is still pretty close, but yeah, not perfect. Now what happens if I just go, all right, is he changing his course? Let's let's see if he changes his course. Let me go 
more perpendicular to his direction of travel. See if he changes that heading. He is changing it. My god, he is following me. Huh. This little stinker. <laughs> this stupid cheating AI. Alright, well... Here we go again, I guess. We don't need rear torpedoes anyway. Torpedoes, rear torpedoes, where we're going, we don't need rear torpedoes. Okay, let me try this this way. Looks about right. 2,500 yards, it's crazy. One more. Oh my god, that was a front torpedo. No wonder I'm missing. Dang it, anyhow. No wonder. Could get lucky with those, but very, very unlikely. And you're much more likely to hit those, by the way, if you're doing um, the manual targeting. But that was not really my intention. It's right about here. Okay, rear torpedo launch. Why not? Look, at we're just having fun. This is doubtful... Very doubtful to be the way you're going to sink it, but... That one's going to miss. Um, This one's looking good. This one's looking very, very good. This is looking very good. And, and good thing, too, because he's actually closing in on us. But this is looking so good. Oh my gosh. It's looking good. <laughs> oh, from downtown, he drills it. <laughs> that was awesome. That was really, 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 really cool. I'm pretty sure we can't sink her, um, despite handling her head on. Uh, just because that she's going to repair, I mean, you, the, the damage control. I can't really show it, but the damage control in the very forward part of these ships, you only have the one, there, it's one wide. So you can't get as much flooding. It's, it's easier to contain. She doesn't seem to care, which is weird. I don't know if I can get another <laughs> down the throat shot to hit. Maybe, if I, of course, if I'm targeting with the rears. And we only have five in the front left. We do have plenty in the rear. Let's go back a little bit. 318 is her new heading. Okay. Okay. Let's go right to 318. Good. And we could try one more. I mean, what will even happen? At Let's find out. We're just gonna have fun with this. So we'll manual target. And the idea is let's manually target so that um, this is looking really good. I think I can just manually target right at the ship. It should we should have no we're both going the same course, okay. Let's just do it. Right. She's really just right on that. Pretty darn lucky though. Okay, one more tube out. Let's see if that hits. <laughs> I mean, we're not that far away. We're gonna have to take evasive action pretty soon. I don't know about that. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, so what happens if two torpedoes hit the same? really enjoying this. <laughs> uh, that would be enough to just sink anything, I think. Just sink it. I mean, any destroyer. <laughs> um, they just have, they wouldn't have a nose left. You'd completely blow off the bow. <laughs> I don't know if that happens with these. It's funny, they're still, like, really persisting. I don't feel like launching another. To me, it's absurd that if she doesn't sink from this... And the other thing to consider is, by the way, we, like, where the heck is 
the stupid battleship. Okay, well, we've done our best as far as evading this one. We've also come to the northwest, which is where I suspected the battleship might be. Now I'm suspecting that it might actually be off to the northeast. Is she still going to follow us? I mean, I don't understand what's going on here. We might actually have to dive soon enough. She is still going at 27 knots with two torpedoes having blown open her bow. Now, I'm not expecting the game to be able to model exactly, but this is a little silly. Alright, we're gonna have to go down in depth and just, just get out of her way for the moment. Uh, this is a good angle, I think. Let's see, 315, not changing, so she's at least not hunting us properly anymore. Oh my god, we're like right there. Well, I think that it's time for us to do one last hurrah. So I really don't want the. I I mean, these things happen, right? Sometimes you just get, you just need three torpedoes to sink. Look at this torpedoes right here, man. It, it didn't even have to turn. <laughs> it was like a perfect the cocaine launch. There we go. Well, if that doesn't do it, I will eat my shorts. And I'm not even wearing shorts. Tortuga, how could you? No, I'm wearing pants. This is a family friendly channel. Okay. Uh, after she sinks, we'll be able to go up to the surface, which will allow us a little bit of better visibility. Kind of peek around, see if we see anything. I want to come this way now, though, because I'm, I have a feeling we are not looking in the right direction anymore. Okay, there she goes. It only took three torpedoes. I mean, more than that, if you think about it from a different perspective. Hey, at least we have one less, one less destroyer hunting us. So this was a <laughs> mission, mission accomplished. Where those battleships are, I think that they're probably long gone from by now. Don't probably wouldn't be a very good idea to surface in full sight of the destroyer. They just radio off. Not that it's a mystery what hit them. We were hit by three mines in three separate positions. It's amazing. Who mined this place? Right in the wide open. I gotta try to take this a little bit more seriously, I'm sorry. Ah, I laugh to keep myself from dwelling too much on the on what I I mean things that it's easy to think about or talk about just the recent event of hitting a destroyer twice in a bow and just go and look up on the <laughs> what was it that there was a I think there was a destroyer which was hit in the bow by a torpedo and it did have its bow blown open and this is one that survived I think it's a U.S. destroyer it had to be towed backwards in or something like that. Okay, this is a lost cause. We're going to go ahead and retreat, which is really, really a shame since I'm pretty sure the battleship was there. Anyways, we sank the Shiratsuyu. Shiratsuyu. Got our three points from that. Oh my gosh, you know, the battleship wasn't part of it. Okay, well, let's continue on the course. This did clean up the map significantly. We can actually see what's going on now, which is nice. Um, do we have any aircraft going out? We do. We have two. Yeah, I'm very happy to use the HE stuff. Just get these guys out of the way. How are things going over here? I really do need to remember to cheat in some more supplies. But I think that this, this, I mean, who knows? This might even be, is this the beginning of the end of this series? All right, well, let's take a look at all um, our patrol patterns. We have a few. There we go. One. I have one down here. I'm starting to use the, this seven. Like this, uh, two parts of a triangle. Didn't do any scouting over there, but we do have a few down here eventually. Okay, there's the loop. Those are the automatic ones. That's nice. Nice to see. 
those are doing something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but where's my embarrassing eight gr group of eight B-17s off to explore? Well, look, you take me back to the Thresher, and I think... Yeah, okay, here we go. I messed up another one. I sent one without torpedo. One, I sent one with torpedoes. And I sent... This is properly done, scouting. Can't use these buttons, I don't know why. We have eight torpedo... <laughs> eight um, completely empty B-17s exploring the Pacific. Useless. But that's okay. All right, let's go back and basically advance time just a little bit. Oh, 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 oh go this way. Can we go tactical? Just go right up to the surf. Well, okay, let's not be foolish. Let's go to periscope depth, scope up, radar. But I probably do want to surface the boat. Okay, there's still aircraft contacts. We do not want to surface the boat. Probably this is the direction I want to go. Wait, did I see them out there? Ship. We, we do! need to look I don't need to identify I know exactly what we have here oh my goodness look how huge they are and they should look huge oh my gosh that's beautiful well ladies and gentlemen this is the 1942 Yamato battleship we have two of them, but I will. I'll probably take a shot if we have anything to shoot at. This way, maybe. Um, wow, twenty thousand dollars. Is it worth it? Probably not. They're just so huge. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. So if we go onto the surface. Well, this is what the Thresher's for. Trolling the enemy. So, once uh, we're just a little bit clear. Here we go. This is like madness, but let's see, are they gonna turn around? They are. Okay. Um. We just need them to drop their ordnance so we can surface. <laughs> I hope that's the sun and not a star shell. I really need to find these aircraft. I need to know how close they are. Back down to 20 there. Nope. Smudge on my monitor. And we did we take damage? Are we dam? No, we're perfectly okay. Need to find these guys. Where are they? Oh, god, they're right there. Okay, drop, dive, emergency dive. scope. They're already in their dive, so this is... Cut this one a little bit close, I would say. Okay, their bombs are away. Yeah, we are way too close to the surface. This might actually hurt. Wow. A lot of bombs. Oh god, they're... That's a good hit. don't see any damage. I assume that the other ones are also dive-bombing. Damn. <laughs> Clearly yes. <laughs> okay, surface the ship. 
Are the torpedo bombing? Are the torpedo bombers coming though? Okay. <gasps> oh, but still my heart, USS Thresher. This is it, buddy. This is like the Shinano. Was it the the fish, right? The um. What was the name of the one? The archer fish? Uh, arch fish? I can't remember. This is insane. They're coming our way. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, go down to periscope depth. Because we don't want to take a shell from one of these things. Let's go up. 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 How do you... How do you solve a problem like Maria? That's what I want to know. Uh, let's come down to like something like this. Okay, periscope depth. Why do you keep telling me down scope? <clears throat> No! <laughs> we don't have a periscope now. Is it broken? Oh, it's broken. Well, pfft. that makes sense. We did take some damage. Okay, well, if that's the case, then we need to surface the boat and repair. I suppose we can't repair under the water. What's the range, though, to target? Um, go up so we can use our radar better, I guess. Um, what is the range to target? is important. Can we repair now? Range of target is 20,000, so we are definitely within range of being shelled. They are definitely turning our way. Oh my god, this is nuts. Wait, they're not turning our way. They're, they're doing something else. Okay, we're going to surface the ship. This is madness, but we need to make some repairs. Oh god, they're, they're- no, 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 no. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Periscope depth. Regret. Regret. Instant regret. Man, they did not waste any time. Nice little maneuver here. Surely they couldn't hit us on the first barrage. Surely. It'd be impossible. From 20, 18,000. Oh my gosh! That was flipping close. Um, like, I don't care who's on the bridge at this point. It would be good, very, very good to just get underwater. I don't want to impede her, but you are diving, right? It does take a long time for those shells to reload, thank god, but... Oh my god, I see him! I saw them coming in. Whoa! It's like, way too close. So, we'll, we'll worry about the conning tower later. <laughs> Needless to say. Man, you are really taking a long time to get under. Do not recommend spending... What the hell are you doing? Like, seriously. There we go. Goodness gracious. Periscope depth. Just so we can use our radar. Although at this point, we can just eyeball it. Cheat mode. We can pretend we still have a periscope. Um, just, you know, just look. Just look at them. I guess I could go up to 20, uh, so we can... Oh, here we go. The shells are still coming in. Oof! It's a good shot. Would have hit us if we were still going fast. But luckily, going on the water slows you down a fair amount. So everything's fine on the... Okay, yeah, I got it. Well, if I had known that, if I had been paying attention, we would have had a much better time with this. So this is going to be still tricky. How do you do this? I guess you do a radar launch? And they are turning away, it looks like. 
Also, it looks like they're sending their destroyers after us. I'm not going to make the mistake of surfacing again. That just takes way too long. But I will tease them. I'm looking to see if they start firing again. We're at 20. Practically surfaced. Did they fire? I'm just scared, so... <laughs> Maybe. 20... Okay, we have them, and let's find out. Are they changing bearing? Heading? Okay, we got the Yamato. They are changing heading, so they are heading right for us. They're doing that stupid thing again. And the Yamato is actually headed this way as well. The problem is that the destroyers are going to get here first. This gives us a pretty clear picture of what's going on. What's the Yamato's range? Can I just launch, like, all the torpedoes at her and see if we can get the lucky hit? Okay, well, I don't know how to deal with this because they're going to keep cheating and honing in on me even when they can't see me. Still doing it? Stop cheating! Stop it! St oh, wait, heading went up? It's a good sign. It means we nope, that dang it! Anyhow, the ding cheaters! Ding dong cheaters! Oh, I think that they're taking evasive maneuvers. So, let's see, 12,000. Could just try to launch some spreads at these guys. We have five torpedoes we could launch in the front, and then we'd have to attack the Yamatos with the four in the rear. So, I mean, look at the odds. Are, nothing, look, nothing about this is good. But even sinking the destroyers in the front, which, by the way, is a Momi? the hell are they have? Why do they have a Momi? This, like, I think this is actually slower. Is it slower than the actual Yamato? Maybe not, but... A weird, very weird choice. No, they're, they're completely fine. They're quite quick. But they're still, like, a very odd choice for... Now, this, <laughs> this makes more sense. Something like this. What do we have here? Firing. Okay, it's this one maybe. Akatsuki. Yeah, Akatsuki. And what do we have here? Ah, one of the Masashio groups. Okay, so this is a pretty deadly group. By the way, the people have reported this is the mine sweeping stuff. You deploy these and they, they cut the, the cables of mines and... Preferable, I guess, than the method of sending ships to clear mines by just running into them, which is what the British Navy did in World War One. But hey, <laughs> that's just how it goes. Will we get a chance to... I mean, this is dangerous. Living life on the edge. Truly live a knife on the edge here. Thresher's not going to be capable. Uh, probably not going to be capable of waiting long enough. So we still have a good solution. 12,000 yards. I don't think we're going to get close enough to do anything. And I don't know how to deal with this because we can't shake them. So, I mean, my alter my my solutions, like, sorry, my options here. We can either just disengage directly, because they are not cheating? Are they not cheating? If they're not cheating, I am i don't mind staying. But the ability to track me while I'm underwater way far away, from, like several miles, multiple nautical miles away, that does not, like, impress me. I mean, just, the, let's just say what it is, the AI is cheating. And I do not like it.
But we could also, I, I, I mean, I have another idea, which is crazy as well. We could also try to sidestep them. At some point, right, they don't... Well, they fall... Eventually, when they get close enough, they should just revert to radar or something. I mean, sonar. Um, when will that happen? I don't know. But, in the meantime, we can just go down to... And I think we will just go down to... 310 feet. Just enough so that we aren't going to capitate at 9 knots. Let's see what happens. Are they going to continue to follow us? It looks like yes. No. The answer is no. They aren't. Maybe? I can't tell. <laughs> the answer appears to be no, but they are not. Let's also go even lower. You're still capitating. Okay, there. We are not cavitating. Oh my goodness, Thresher, you might have done it, you madman! You son of a gun, you got behind the escorts! Ah, oh, but they're also smart, and they're running away. Unfortunately, when they return to the... Wait. I was going to say, when they return to the... They look like they're on to me now. So. Alright, well, this is a good time to call this one. <laughs> Just going to go ahead and leave there. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what to ha what to make of the uh, this. But they appear to be heading south, which is interesting. So we'll send the Thresher south. She does have a little bit of damage. Which we can confirm now, we know why. Ah, it's just disappointing. We had such a fun little thing going on. Uh, Grampus, go to... Okay, so ignore that. Avengers, you guys have this, but... Okay, I think your prey is over here now, so I'll continue. Tactical. Start and it's night time, so there's that. Anyway, we'll break into two groups. I'm gonna do these manually because if we don't, I don't think that they will hit. Alright, so. Close enough. Correct closer to the target. That looks pretty good. Slow those guys down. Speed these guys up. Dead stopped, I think. She's gonna make her oh bomb base. Potentially a good target. Uh, number one's gonna be difficult, but this one looks decent, considering the mummy's dead stopped. Buy a little bit of extra time while the bomb base open. This is looking quite good, though. Yeah. Hmm. 
You drop your bomb. Good, so you are also out of here. Alright, I think that's a kill. So now we have to figure out a way to get to Mr. Number One over here. Oh yeah, I think we got a <laughs> I think we got a dead 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 ship over there. Yeah, that was well, not surprising that was actually really quick. Okay, lining up with uh, number one. Oops. Wow, <laughs> that is perfect. Okay, let's get these guys up and away. Look at that. Synchronized turning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Alright, get these guys to level off. Keep going, and we can see high explosive Avenger dive or level bombing, which they could do, especially from 3,000 feet. They did have a bombardier. Very effective, very effective. I think this ship is not long for the surface, and very soon for the bottom. There it is, right on cue. Okay, so there was this kind of fun wandering around with uh, the Thresher. We really hope next episode to be back doing something a little bit more interesting with her. Like, uh, in particular, I hope that she's got another chance to actually attack. We do know where the Yamatos are. They are out. And it is just about to be nightfall, which means uh, we don't really want anybody else anywhere. Oh, Mr. Tambor. What are you doing without a course? And may I persuade you to pursue two Yamatos? Would have been really great if we had gotten some torpedoes off. Now I kind of think that we should have just launched with the Thresher. Even taking out one Escort would have been a pretty good deal. Yeah, but I'm not too worried about the Yamatos going over and doing a bombardment of Port Moresby. If that is, and you know, it is potentially their plan. Um, why am I not worried about that? Because we have the Tamper in the way. She's gonna... Now, I think it'll take them... Uh, let's do a quick test here real fast. You can steam at the same speed as they can. Yeah, it's going to take them more than 12 hours, so, to even get to down here. And they still haven't, at that point, they still will not have gotten all the way to Port Moresby. So, um, we, will, we will have time to react, but we will have to keep our scouts out and about. Checking for them. Goofy episode, whatever. Hopefully we get some, uh, some better action with the Thresher next turn. It still was a lot of fun for me. Um, until the next one, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.